All right, let's talk about a Gantt chart assignment that, that I've uh, worked on developing um, using a uh, free uh, site. So it looks like just a basic Excel tutorial. So I found this Gantt, and again, some of the code was already on here. So here you can see how to create a Gantt chart and what to put in the Excel sheets. So you can find that at Best Excel. It looks like best hyphen Excel hyphen tutorial dot com, a uh, place to find uh, some some generic Excel language. So basically developed a, a project management assignment. And so here's an example of, of my Gantt chart. Um, as you can see this August 23rd through 28th looks pretty busy with uh, some stuff that I have coming up. Um, so maybe these are some things that I could try to work on. If I can get some of this work done before uh, this time starts getting really crazy for me that may may help my life out a little bit. So for your assignment, again, after you put your, you can put your name up here at the top. Um, so, you know, once you get your name in, maybe you want to figure out um, time to study for, I don't know, your biochem class or what have you. And then you're going to study from 8, uh, maybe start on August 30th, and you're going to go all the way to August, or maybe September, uh, maybe your exam is September the 7th, and I'm just making these up. So you see as you as you change the names of the tasks, so maybe you also need to study kinetics and you know, I don't know what classes you've got to study for. So let's say that exams, you know, not necessarily overlapping biochem, but you know you know you don't want to like wait too long um, to start studying. So maybe you're gonna study over that Labor Day weekend and uh, and then that'll you know maybe that exams after biochem and so so you see how it, it creates um, it'll create kind of the the Gantt chart template for you. So uh, all you have to do is put in the name of the task and then the the dates. Uh, if you'd like to categorize the colors, um, you can do that here. Uh, and then and then when you uh, if you need to change the um, the the category colors here, but here's here's how you can you know play with that. Um, but anyway, you type in your name into into the um, to A2, start end dates, and then just adjust your colors based on categories. So maybe these are uh, um, class stuff, you know, and maybe you'll have work, and then you'll have um, uh, personal um, goals. So maybe, you know, maybe some of the stuff in the red is going to be stuff like, um, I don't know, lose. Um, lose five pounds, and maybe you know that that's going to take you um, take you quite a bit. So maybe you know that that's going to be over. Um, let's just put in some dates here. So we know that's going to take a little bit longer. That's going to be something you have to work on throughout the whole time in order for you to hit your goal of losing five pounds. You at least want to kind of manage that time and say, okay, I know I'm going to need to get to the gym those days. Um, so if you know, am I going to be able to achieve this goal when I have these other class and work things going on? So, um, so anyway, create the chart. We'll have this will be part of the assignment that you'll turn in, and and we'll um, uh, you know we'll see how everyone does and, and see if this was helpful for you guys managing your time. Strength and guidance, all that I'm wishing for my friends. Nobody makes it from my ends. I had to bust up the silence. You know you gotta.